Lisa's mental state is at this critical point. Lisa didn't let them down. Within half an hour, her mouth was full of blood and the rats had all turned into corpses. Time came to the morning of the sixth day. Lisa was tortured and disfigured. Just then she seemed to hear the sound of a cell phone. She got up with difficulty to find successfully in the body of that doll. Found a cell phone. Fortunately the phone had full signal and she rushed to call the police. But she didn't know where this was and couldn't provide critical information. Before she could talk to the police for two minutes, the phone ran out of power and turned off. The hope that had been raised was once again dashed, and Lisa fell into complete despair. At this point Lisa began to hallucinate. In a trance, she saw a man and a woman constantly doing bizarre movements. An old woman was knitting a sweater for a rat doll. A man was eating a cooked human hand, and a human head was stewing in the pressure cooker. Lisa was strapped to an operating table, and the doctors modified her brain. 